there and welcome to my YouTube channel, Julie McNeil Crafts. So today we are doing something with JMC Designs. So this is a YouTube hop. My girls will be mentioned in the description box below. Um, our Amy and is a bit busy at the minute so she'll not have a video for us but the lovely Dawn and Sarah will and um, I'm not sure if Laura will this sweet month either but you know we all appreciate that life is more important than crafting sometimes so. So um, yep we have a payday deal for you and I am using warmed cardamom she is from the Autumn All Spice collection and I have pulled out these papers from Scrap Berries um, this is French Journey I've had this in my stash for ages but I was looking to see if I had anything with nice um, soft colours so I think what I'm just going to do is flick through this and pull out a few papers I have no plan and we'll just start layering and see what happens okay so I've pulled out some of these papers that are a bit um, blue. These are 6x6 six six papers and I'm working on a 7x7 seven seven card so I'm going to overlay it like that which gives a bit of interest but then I'm obviously wasting quite a lot of paper there so I am just going to cut some of that centre paper out so that we can use it somewhere else on the card. I'm not overly worried about it being straight but it just seems a complete waste to have the whole thing sort of covered so I am going to do something like that I think. We'll start off with that as our base. Um, let's see, I think I'll maybe get some distressing. Okay so I've taken some broken china distress oxide. I've already gone around that card and I'm just going to oops, go around the edge of this. So we're just emphasising the edges because we're layering paper on top of paper you kind of want to see the separation of it so this is quite a good um, we have been able to do that. The black pen is also what I tend to do a lot um, but I don't know where I'm going with this card so I'm just going to stick with it like this and it also it helps me to make the papers slightly bluer because um, they're a bit on the green side for this image but it also just helps to bring that together a little bit. So I am still using gel medium because it is not quite yet December as soon as it is, I will be getting glue. Although I might not be able to because <laughs> I'm spending quite a lot of money. But I think that's true for most people, isn't it? So, And I've proved I can live without it, so maybe I should keep living without it and see how I go. <laughs> what do we think? Or should I just get back into my comfort zone of using the glue that I'm familiar with? Right, so we'll just stick that down there. And this can be our base and then we can work out what we're doing with the rest of the layers in a little minute. This is how I craft. I very rarely have a plan. I used to do, don't do much, but I used to do like blog it. You know when we first, we all sort of have a bit of a crafting journey and I crafted on my own um, and then I started sharing on a blog. Um, but anytime there was a blog challenge with... Um, sketches for some reason I just could not do that I cannot because I'd always end up just wanting to tweak or to move or so yeah me and set plans don't tend to don't tend to get on overly well so I'm gonna rip this because I've, I've not cut it particularly straight so we'll just go with that and add a little bit of interest so yeah I just sort of see what I have play around, move, move things around, see what happens and yeah, I quite like this paper because I think it goes well with the girl but I don't want a huge amount of it so maybe should we just have some sort of just peeking out like that, would that work? Keep that to a similar length as that, maybe, maybe, maybe and I quite like this brick effect. Yeah, so let's I think I'll tear this and we'll use this to frame the actual main picture. So we've got a few straight edges, a few ripped and torn edges. So we're really mixing it up here. So that's the thing. Once you've 
torn a piece of paper doesn't mean everything, every element on your card has to be torn. Just because you've gone for a straight edge, it doesn't mean it all has to be neat and precise. You can just mix it up and it's these sort of things that build layers and interest. Right, I think that's quite nice. Um, right, I'm going to round this off a bit because now it's not overly fitting with the with the main piece but if we sort of layer it a little bit then that might work a little bit better okay and then I think I will have a, another piece just at the side there right that'll do for the minute as a base and then we can then we can build build on that. So if I just pull that back like so, and we can reverse what we just what we just did. I've left my daughter unattended downstairs, and I'm hearing lots of movement. She's been off school this week with the cold. Um, she has been really ill, poor too. Actually, she's been quite like shivery and all of this sort of stuff. She even went off her food up for quite a bit of it but um, today, oops I'm going to put that because I want the white edge showing, today she's definitely much better but it seemed a bit pointless sticking her into school for one day. I just thought she may as well fully recover so that by the time she goes back she's uh, she's far more ready for it. Also she does have a bit of an iron deficiency so things and bugs tend to hit her a little bit harder so it's good to wait for her to be completely over them. Right, make sure that, that all looks, oh, so that idea didn't work did it? <laughs> I see other people do it and it's like oh yeah that's really clever. They sort of work backwards from what they'd laid up and uh, but clearly I don't have the eye for that. Thankfully I've used a wet glue so we will just Move as required. Where there's a will, there's a way. There we go. I also need to tear that a little bit. Right. So I've no idea. It's probably she's probably chasing the cat or something like that. I'm trying to teach her that um, she has to go on the cat's playtime. It's like when the cat wants to play, she tends to want to sit and do nothing and ignore it. And then when she wants to play with the cat, the cat wants to sleep. So we're trying to. Uh, teacher, you know, the cat wants to be friendly and play with you, but it needs to be on the cat's terms. <laughs> Cats are very independent. Right, I am just going to rub this same Distress ink around the edge of my picture, because it's just going to soften that white so it doesn't look so harsh and it will sort of blend, blend in. I must have used a slightly yellow ink that's still in my... Uh, <laughs> in my brush but actually the colours turned out pretty good so there's a happy accident. I do like a happy accident. I am gonna so it's going to big green let's add a bit of a bit of blue in there as well. It's amazing the difference just popping a bit of um distress ink can make onto you know one of your images or one of your papers. You might think oh I don't have anything that matches but you can generally blend things together fairly easily. See what a difference that makes now. It totally matches the card. Looks like it's meant to be. So that's awesome. Right. Black pen. Of course, of course, of course. Right. And we'll edge this. And I might even just pop it on a little bit of 3D foam and stick that down and then we can work out what we're going to do for embellishments. So there's my some 3D foam there. Surprisingly close to hand. <laughs> I never know. I, I honestly if you could see the state I was working in right now it is ridiculous. But I have a crazy, crazy workload at the minute. Um manic deadlines and it, it, which it's all very exciting. I'm very, very excited. I've got loads of really exciting things to tell you at the beginning of next year. So stay tuned for that. <coughs> stay tuned for that. Sorry, put a frog in my throat there. But um, last week I spent most of the week hospital visiting. 
and then this week my daughter's off school so <laughs> time wise we're struggling a little bit so this is me doing my video at last minute I'm recording it on the day that goes up my team have already done their videos because they've told me so I'm feeling very behind um, yeah so uh, with regards to actually sitting and sort of creating a bit of a workspace that's workable in uh, I don't feel like I've had time for that which is probably a bit counterintuitive but there you go right I'm going to find some embellishments okay. So I've pulled out a few bits and bobs and see you can have a play. I found these little miniature tags um, which I thought could make a bit of a unique um, sort of decoration to the side of the card. I suppose it's not that unique if lots of people use tags. Um, but yeah, I just thought it would look nice and now, I'm <laughs> now I can't see where I've put my distress oxide. There it is over there. Um, yeah, so... Oh bit heavier but never mind we'll put it on a bit later on this one so I just thought we could add add that and I've pulled out a few little bits and pieces and we will see how we go so I was just going to tack these let's get a black pen round those as well okay oops Never mind, I'm going to be, this is sort of a bit of a background that I'm going to build my flowers on. It's just to add a little bit of extra interest and detail to the card. Oh, there's noise again. I think it might be that she's actually watching a programme. Don't see it. <laughs> Guess I get striked by the FTC. <laughs> I think she's watching a film <laughs> that has a lot of dancing in it. And uh, she's getting up and dancing every time uh, there's music. I think that might be what's going on. Right, so I'm just going to tuck these down the side like so. I'm just using a little bit of hot glue to build up my embellishments. Okay, and then the last thing I was creating, um, I think for the No Spend November, I came across these stickers that I'd had forever ago. So they've got these sort of little rings. So I'm thinking that would make quite a nice little addition to bling that up a little bit. And then I'll probably use one of the sentiments as well. So that'll sort of tie those elements together. Right. I think these are a little bit too peachy, so let's just use the leftover bits of oxides on those just to tone them down a little bit. And we can get these stuck. Down. Make a little arrangement. Try not to hide. I want to see the detail of my tag, so I don't particularly want to hide it, but I do want to build on top of it. Okay. Now I've also got this lace flower, which has already been chopped up because I do have a tendency to chop these things up because I very rarely, rare, I very rarely like them as a big piece. I always find they're a bit too big for me. But I like them as little elements so I'm just going to cut along this. Okay, There's quite a bit of glue in there. And let's divide this up and we'll use this almost as little leaf elements. There's a lot of glue on that. Here we go. I was thinking of doing a video on keeping products sharp. I don't know whether that will be of use to anybody. Because I have had this pair of scissors for probably, I definitely bought them before I was married, so we're talking more than 20 years old, at least, these scissors are. And I have genuinely cut through paper, fabric, wire, 3D foam, all sorts of stuff. I'm really abusive <laughs> to my poor scissors. And they're still going. Um, because I sharpen them. And I have a few other tips and tricks that I use just to extend the life of my... Um, blades and um, so like you've seen that I'm struggling there to cut through that glue. I'm still going to do it um, but I also know I can fix my scissors. So I have not bought any more. These, these ones are still, still going. Um, so if you'd be interested in that let me know because it was a thought that had crossed my mind for creating a video. This is looking too even for me. It's bothering me somewhat. Anyway, maybe just layering that on top. I've got, got a few other pieces, so we'll, we'll see how we go. 
So now I've cut all that glue off and stick some more on. The irony of it. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we have payday deal. It's going to last for seven days till the 7th of December. So payday nov, N-O-V, 25. And that will give you 25% off. I'm also going to do a plug for, I do actually create custom digis. I have done them for some of my team, so they will start um, sharing them when they are able to. But I, again, I appreciate it's a busy time of year for everybody. Um, I've also got these. Um, so if you're looking for a unique gift, I mean, what do you buy the crafter that has everything? And then you don't know what craft supplies they have or, or not. That might be an idea. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> I'm not wanting this to be a sales pitchy sort of one, but I'm putting it out there. If it's something you fancy, it's something I do. <laughs> Let's just put it like that, shall we? <laughs> right, I've got these little frosted bobbly things. That I've also seen oops, I've also seemed to have had in my stash forever. So let's get some of those used up. I think we need a third one. So as you can see, I am cutting the wire of this with my scissors. That I've had for 25 years and I will be able to cut fabric with them again if I want right this arrangement is not working for me it's too clumpy it's too clumpy situation somewhat. It's because so far it's sort of even, I think. I've got the two flowers, but I don't want three of those ones because they're too bulky. And I think I need to cut off one of these leaves and move it. So let's just pull that out. <laughs> I separated it, put it back together, and now I'm going to have to separate it again. Right. <laughs> I think maybe it's just bit too much all in one place. Maybe it needs moved out a little more. That's not right either. Hmm, maybe that's a bit better. Okay. We will get there. Just keep fiddling till you're happy. in my glue gun again after getting my nasty burn <laughs> oh dear it was sore it was but now I know that you need to be careful with glue guns when you're tidying them away not just when you're actually crafting with them wait till they've cooled down before you attempt to tidy them away that's what I've learnt Oops, we've lost a pearl. Drop that back in. Okay. Let's see, I think if we have a few of these, we might need to squish them down a little bit though. Okay, I think we are getting there. Let's squish these down. I'm getting them stuck. I'm getting them stuck down. They're a bit too. Sometimes I find them a bit too prominent, so I need to give them a good squish. <laughs> so I like making them flowers out of paper clay because they you really can sort of squish them and then they will bounce back which is quite quite good they take a bit more abuse than these things do okay and then we'll stick this one down 
and then I'm going to get some loops. Oh my goodness, stringy strings. I'm stick my finger right in it, that's useful. Right. Yes, I've not quite mastered the art of hot glue. Safe to say, using a hot glue gun, if you're a child, is not safe. <laughs> so we're clearly crafting for adults here. Right, um, okay, I am going to grab a, a little bit of gesso. Okay, sorry, my gesso is getting quite cluttered. I'm going to do a bit of dry gessoing over these, this element, these elements that I've put together. Sorry, terrible English. My husband's grandfather would not be impressed. He always corrected our, our English. <laughs> if we didn't speak in a grammatically correct way. Right, so I'm just going to pop that down. It sort of tones it all together. And what I'm also thinking that I might do is just let's add a little to the to the backgrounds as well. So it's just a tiny minute detail, but it can blend different elements together a little bit. I always find when I'm dry gessoing, I've got a fairly long brush. I'm holding it quite high up and I am flicking really fast with not much pressure. And that stops you from sort of completely whiting it out but it does sort of tone things together a little bit and make them one, which is kind of what we're looking for. We're looking for a nice cohesive look. So I'm just gonna knock that flower arrangement back a little bit. Okay, so we've done that. Let's just grab a few little gems. And we'll add some gems around this little floral display. And just to finish that off. And then I think a bit of black pen work and a sentiment. And I think we should be there. Which is awesome. I love it when you have absolutely no idea what you're going to do. Especially like when I'm filming and stuff. It's not too bad when like you're playing for yourself. But when you're filming and you're like, oh, I actually need something to look reasonably okay by, <laughs> by the time I've finished. And it's like, oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. And then you just play and it sort of comes together. It's always quite um, satisfying. It's like it does just show that. It's like, just pull a few bits and bobs out and have a play. Move them around, see what happens. Um, it can make all the difference, right? Do I want a set of... Yeah, why not? Have a little... That used to be sort of my trademark... I think now that's the sort of like the black edges and the doodles, but for years and years I always somewhere on the card I had a row of three gems. <laughs> I quite like the look of that for some reason. Right. So I am just ooh, things sliding off my desk. I am just going to put a black red edge around the actual base of the card. I've managed to stick my card in um, blue oxide so that's fine it just means that I'll have to decorate the back before I give it to anyone stick a wee panel of paper on it and I think it just looks like a really luxurious card see I'll just do something like this isn't the right paper because it doesn't match but you know put something like that on it and mat it and layer it a bit and it just looks like it's meant to be all things can be fixed okay I have not black edged my oh, this pen that's not working okay so I didn't edge the edges of the paper which I'm kind of now wishing that I had because I did end up going along with black edging I should know myself that that is what I'm eventually going to do so um, I'm just going to put the same effect in with doodles we'll have more doodles so I'm just doing a wibbly wobbly line and I will just do a few um, squiggles around the edges of that. So you don't have to be precise, you don't have to worry that you're going to ruin your card. If you don't go for a straight line, then it's not meant to be a straight line. Whereas if you try and make it perfect, that's when it's more likely to look wrong. So just, just don't worry about it. That's my best advice. Right, so I'm going to do a squiggly line on these ones, I think. And then I think I'm going to create a stitched detail on 
the edge of it. So that's when I just draw a line and then scribble a little circle like so. Finally, I think we are going to have to go with some white splashes. So, yeah. Let's add a few little white splashes. I think especially as it's a winter themed card, but white splashes. I mean, I, we know, let's face it, I put white splashes on everything. <laughs> so, I don't know why I might be making up the winter themed card, but it's definitely worth doing it when it's a little winter themed card, because it just works. Okay, I'm going quite heavy handed there, but again, I think it works because she's in her, in her funky little hat and boots. She may as well be standing in a blizzard. <laughs> okay, and then I have got these things here, so um, let me see. Oh, I quite like This Is Me. It just reminds me of that song, This Is Me. Let's put that down. Down there. I was originally going to go with um where is it? Original. Oh yeah. No, I think we'll start stick with that. Okay. Sorry for faffing there at the end. Right, so this is my card for the GMC Designs Payday YouTube hop. I hope you like it. Um, if you make anything with my designs over the next little while, I would love to see it. So do feel free to tag me. You can either tag me at Julia McNeil Crafts or GMC Designs Art. Um, yeah, and if you have enjoyed it here, please do consider liking and subscribing. And I'll be back again very soon. Okay, take care then and goodbye.